Climax interference begin. Bottle smashing over her head. Writing the notes. Coming out of the closet. Damn, Toko, proud of you. The thing that I, oh, it's this here. I didn't see this one. Got it. There's the queen. Okay. Poison. Queen. Um. There we go. Here's exactly what happened. This case began when Sakura asked a number of people to meet her in the rec room. Specifically, those people were Hiro, Toko, and Byakuya. But one of them headed out a bit earlier than the others, Toko. She got there one step ahead of everyone else and looked around for a good hiding spot. That's not quite right. Hiro was there first, watching. Well, he was off in the hallway. She, she was the first one in the record. And get out of sight. Then, from inside the locker, she saw Sakura enter the room. Next to arrive was Hiro. When he got there, he mistakenly thought Sakura was going to try to kill him, so he panicked. Without thinking, he grabbed a nearby Monokuma bottle and attacked Sakura with it. Thinking he'd killed her, he hastily began covering up his crime. He took a magazine from the table and forged a dying message from Sakura. To that end, he wrote down a name. Toko. By writing her name, he was hoping to pin the murder on her. But of course, Toko had witnessed the whole thing. So as soon as the coast was clear, she jumped out of the locker and hid the magazine on the shelf with all the others. But in her rush, she made one little mistake. She put the magazine back upside down. Soon after, she watched as Sakura slowly opened her eyes. She also saw the blood dripping off Sakura's head and fainted. This caused her personality to switch back over to Genocide Jack. When she woke back up, her second personality also saw the blood soak Sakura. And she freaked out. And just like Hiro, she grabbed another Monokuma bottle and attacked her. This explains why there were two wounds on Sakura's head. What a coincidence. Assuming Sakura really what was dead this time, she set about disposing of the evidence. She gathered up the broken Monokuma bottle shards and the queen chest piece. And that explains how Sakura was attacked twice with the same type of weapon. But even after those two blows, she was still alive. So then, what was Sakura's actual cause of death? It was the poison that Sakura herself got from the chem lab. She turned the rec room into a true locked room scenario and then drank the deadly mixture. And there, she took her final breath. Later on, the rest of us discovered that her body was in there. We had to smash the door's window to get inside. But someone already knew what had happened knew that she had committed suicide. And that same someone quietly snatched the bottle of poison from off the ground. 
and while nobody was looking, replaced it with an empty protein can. I like how for some reason it shows Kina's actual skin color in the bottom two, rather than just gray like it does before that. Yeah. You're right. And it shows, you know, the jacket color and everything. And the one who went to all that effort. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not trying to hide it. Probably because she's not a murderer. That's the full truth of the case. Sakura took her own life, and you claim to be the killer to hide that fact. Isn't that right? That's what happened? But, Makoto, how did you... how did you manage to... How were you able to uncover the truth that even I couldn't discern? Huh? Oh, we have this well, human thing known, I mean, known as a heart? You still haven't realized? We don't all act according to calculations and cost-benefit diagrams. That's what makes us so complicated. That's what you don't understand. And that's why you couldn't solve this case. <laughs> See? Didn't I tell you? When you dismiss other people's feelings, it'll always come back to bite you in the end. Get wrecked, scrub. Yeah, I never failed. A rank, twelve forty nine points. Hundred twenty two medals. Okay, okay. I think we can all agree you made your point. Did you guys forget already? You still haven't voted yet. Oh yeah, that's right. You seriously forgot? I can feel my energy draining out of me. Well, whatever. You don't really have a choice anyway. You just gotta do it. Maybe you don't want to, but please grab your lever and cast your vote. So, who will be chosen as the Blacken? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Everyone points at Sakura. Monokuma vote. First time we've seen a gray picture up there. Also, I like how you could vote for Monokuma. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's right. The one who killed Sakura was Sakura herself. Entire existence. Okay, we're done here. What did you say? So that's the whole truth, huh? I see. But there's still one thing I don't understand. Hina, why do you try to cover up what happened? If the truth hadn't come to light, you would have died along with the rest of us. Thinking? And yet you- why did you do that? Don't be mean. Yeah, we almost died there! What is this? Because... That's exactly what I wanted! What? I mean, the reason Sakura died is because all of you pushed her into a corner. You, you all killed her. So that's why. You're mistaken. You should have been the one to die. I couldn't let her be the only one that died. What? what, what, what? You don't mean. You were going to take all of us with you? <laughs> a voice crack. <laughs> Yeah, it's on purpose, to be fair. I yeah. I don't know really what to do for her. It was supposed to be Valley Girl, but I've forgotten how to do that. Um, We have to atone for our sins. Because everyone, even me, we all killed her. We have to pay for our crime. You're mistaken. You misunderstand her. And that's an insult to her memory. For serious? That's... You still don't understand? Then let me explain. Do you realize just how much despair Sakura was carrying with her when she died? Look at this. Such brutality has made me desperate. So instead of waiting to be killed, I'll do it by my own hand. That's... I found it on the ground in front of the rec room. It's... 
Sakura's suicide note. Suicide note? Thinking back, I should have seen it coming. It was right after Genocide Jack had attacked me. Sakura got mad and stormed out of the nurse's office. I ran out after her and... Um... Sakura, calm down. You don't have to worry about me. I'm fine. I can't calm down. I don't care if I suffer for this. It's my fault after all. But now you're suffering because of me? No forgiveness! You try to protect me, but because of me... I can't forgive this! My closest friend got hurt! Sakura? I... Because of me... My friends are called going to kill each other. This is all my responsibility. Sakura thought she was responsible. She thought everything was her fault. Which is why she wanted to find some way to get everyone to forgive her. So she asked to meet with them. You asked to meet with those three? You can't! Don't you see how dangerous that is? Don't worry, I just want to talk to them. But... Talk about what? Um... Listen, don't do it. If they all gang up on you at once, even you... Hina... Please don't think of things like that. They're not my enemy. They're friends. They're... Friends. Sakura... She clearly believed. She completely believed in all of us. If you just talked to her, you would have understood. She was a friend to all of us. And yet... Why? And yet... You trampled all over her feelings, and then you did the unthinkable. No, that was just a misunderstanding. What are you saying? Don't stand there and call it a misunderstanding. She believed in you, and you wouldn't even listen to what she had to say. Without asking a single question, you tried to kill her. I wouldn't forgive you. Do you have any idea how desperate she was seeing you act like that? This is that's what her suicide note means. So instead of just waiting to be killed, I'll do it by my own hand. Why? That's how far you'd pushed her. Huh? Sakura, what happened to you? Hina. You can. Wait right here, I'll help you out. Hina. Huh? I... I'm... I'm so glad I got to meet you. What? What's wrong, Sakura? Why are you talking like that? I have a favor to ask. Huh? A favor? Some protein. Could I ask you to? Yeah, you got it. Just hang on. I'll be right back. That was the last conversation I had with her. I went to the chem lab to get the protein she asked for. When I got there, I saw the powder. And that's when I realized... I saw that someone had taken something from the poison shell. Sakura. So I ran back to the rec room as fast as I could. But by the time I got there, it was already too late. Sakura! Please! Let me in! Let me in! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Why? Why did she have to die? 
She had weaknesses just like any other person. If she got cut, she bled. If someone hurt her, she felt it. That's weakness. That's normal. And yet... Why? You all blamed her. I tried to protect her and I suffered for it. And that just added to the weight she had to carry. And I didn't even realize it. Hina. We killed her. All of us. We pushed her into a corner and we murdered her. Why? People like us shouldn't be allowed to live. And that's why you try to lead us astray. You did your best to make us arrive to the wrong conclusion during the class trial. Sakura died hating all of us. I wanted to free her of her regret. You really don't understand her. But even that got found out. In the end, I wasn't able to do anything for her. I could never face her after this. Hey, hey! I'm sorry to interrupt right when... I'm sorry to interrupt right when you're about to deliver the final tear tricker, but... It's just taking so long, long, long. I'm about to fall asleep over here. I mean, do you really have any idea what Sakura was actually thinking when she died? What did you just say? Everything you just said is nothing but your interpretation, right? Your own opinion on what her suicide note meant? Of course I know what she was thinking, because her and me... We're lesbians. In other words, well, uh, what I'm trying to say is... Don't you think the entire foundation is shaky? What if it was really... like this? What the heck? What is that? Of course. Isn't it obvious? A suicide note. Sakura's suicide note. What? But he already... Oh, I wrote that one. It was on me, baby. I knew it. This is the one Sakura addressed to Hina and put in her room. What? Then... You... Lied to me? Oh, don't say you lie. It makes us all sound so dirty. I just thought I'd liven things up a bit. I can't help if you totally took my little scribbles at face value. It didn't even have Sakura's signature on it. You filthy little... I'm not filthy. I didn't do anything. And did I falsify evidence? Did I affect the outcome of the class trial? The case played out between you and you alone. That's... You were the ones jerking around each other around. Heck, even if the uh, if the will had factored in, it still would have been between you guys. So what's the problem? This is all the part of the production process. Okay, and scene cut. <sighs> okay, uh... So then... What did she write in her real suicide note? What are you gonna do? I'm glad you asked. For your benefit, I shall read it using my melodic, angelic, harmonic narrator voice. But you know, haven't you been curious about the whole suicide note thing? Who came up with the idea of leaving a note when you kill yourself in the first place? And isn't it just so unfortunate? Killing yourself is just so final, you know? You can never have the rest of the story. The truth is lost in darkness. Gives me the willies. Could you get on with it, please? Yes, indeed. Okay, okay, jeez. Talk about a buzzkill. Alright, here we go. Hmm. <clears throat> My good friend Hina, there's something I have to tell you. I have to do it like this, but... I hate to do it like this, but you need to know. This is my final wish. As you know, I've been giving information to the one who's imprisoned you here. It was our first night in the strange school that the Mastermind came to see me. The Mastermind took control of my family's dojo and demanded I become their tool. You might not see the importance of a dojo, but my family has watched over it for over 300 I years. I let it be destroyed under my watch. So even if it meant my own life, I had to protect it. That's how I saw things. However, that was my greatest weakness. And because of that, I made the mistake of giving in to the Mastermind. The Mastermind wanted from me was nothing less than murder. They were probably worried that until the first murder had happened, nothing would move forward. But what neither the Mastermind nor I expected was the incident involving Sayaka. And at that point, the plan changed. The Mastermind told me to hold off, to wait until we had reached another However, stalemate. As I lived here with all of you, as I lived here with Hina, Yay. my resolve began to weaken. Watching everyone fight with such despair, trying so desperately to stay alive. 
I saw the weakness in my own heart, the mistake of succumbing to the mastermind, and more than anything. That's how I came to feel. So that's why Sakura. I've made a decision. I will no longer retreat. No longer compromise. No longer regret. I've made my decision. I'm going to resist you. <laughs> of course, because none of because of that, I decided to reveal her secret, which made everyone else hate her. Her decision to stay true to all of you and directly to all of you hating her for it. Ironic, isn't it? Or maybe oxymoronic? Or maybe moronic? Of course, I understand if you all hate me. All of this is because of my own weakness. I'm perfectly willing to accept whatever attack you may want to make on me. This is my atonement for betraying you. That's what I had in mind. But unfortunately, that's not enough. This won't end with just me accepting your hatred. My own situation has started having an effect on more people than just me. Which is exactly what the Mastermind wanted when they revealed my betrayal. My betrayal brought suspicion, disharmony. The Mastermind knew exactly knew that eventually it would escalate into someone murdering someone else. Of course, I'm still responsible for that as well. I have an obligation to get the situation under control, and to fulfill that obligation, I've decided to do as the Mastermind has commanded. I will do as I've told and commit murder. The one I'm going to kill is myself. If the Mastermind demands that I kill someone, then that someone will be me. Then my do dojo will be safe, and above all else, none of you will have to kill anyone. When I die, the source of conflict among you all dies with me. For that, I'm willing to give up my life. If I save you, then sacrificing my own life could have no greater meaning. I've said it from day one, but I really like Sakura. She's dope. Also, whenever people go Super Saiyan, they get white hair, but when she got here, she already had white hair, so she's been Super Saiyan the entire time. Yep. But her hair's not spiked, it's straight down, which means she's Super Saiyan 3, which means she's just that badass. Whatever you think of me, please know that you are all my most treasured friends. I've never had people like you in my life. Huh? Then Sakura... Didn't feel cornered? She didn't die hating us? No way! She wanted to stop us from fighting? To protect us? Correct. She didn't end her own life because she was weak. Quite the opposite, in fact. She was strong. Too strong. That's why she killed herself. She chose death for herself in order to protect the rest of us. To sacrifice so much, no normal person could do that. However, it was only her limitless strength that made it possible. Finally, Hina, I want to apologize to you especially. The reason I didn't tell Nina this is because I knew you would try to stop me. I'm really truly sorry, but please don't be sad. If I can thwart the Mastermind's plans, if I can keep you from killing each other, that's enough for me. That is the path that I have chosen. This is the only way I have left to distinguish myself. And you can use this note to bring the class trial to a quick end. I'm so sorry to ask you to do something so unpleasant, but I have to but I have to leave the rest to you. Please talk to Byakugan Toko and Hero on my behalf. I can't tell anyone about my plan while I'm still alive, but I want you to understand why I'm doing this. In the end, though, I hope to show myself the reactions, not words. Hopefully, then they'll see. You my enemy. You were only ever my friend, who I wanted to help as much as possible. Hina, whatever it takes, survive. Survive along with everyone else. No matter what, just survive. But... This is... I didn't understand how she felt. Not at all. I thought we were close and still. What are you gonna do? But in the end, all of her meta was like totally pointless. Aww. She died so you guys wouldn't have to kill each other, but you almost end up doing it anyway. 
Thanks to you, her death had no purpose at all. In fact, it was because of her stupid meddling that the rest of you nearly bit the big one. She deserves all the blame. Everyone blame her. Go ahead. She deserves it. Also, like, no? Because we were never... We, we were never at our wit's end. We always just had somebody pushing us forward. In the end, it was both Kyoko and I. <laughs> now then, the next victim has been decided. What do you mean, next victim? Nobody here blames anyone. First of all, you're in the wrong for tricking Hina with that fake suicide note. And plus, Sakura's death wasn't a waste. Because she made us remember, we're not enemies that hate each other. We're friends who need to work together. Damn straight. This is all because of our misplaced hatred. And don't, I don't blame her, I can't blame her. Nobody can blame Hina either. Whether or not that spy... There was a spy never really mattered, because the one we need to destroy is you, nobody else. What, do you want? what the heck? This is not what this is supposed to go! But anyway, are you sure about that? The killing game is a competition between all of you, remember? Your enemy is each other. He's absolutely right about that. Ah, lovely Byakugan. You understand, don't you? This is a life or death elimination match. The only way to survive is to win. There can be no doubt that those are the rules of the game. Which is why I'm bowing out of the game. Naturally. Sakura and Hina were both willing to sacrifice their own lives to deny the reality of the game. Thanks to them, it would appear the others have cast aside their fear for this game. There's no point in participating in a game which has lost that sense of excitement. Which is why I will no longer be participating in it. What? What's going on here? Now I have only one thing to look forward to, and that is the heaps of harshest possible punishments onto the one who thinks they can control me. Byaki, I... you mean... Don't misunderstand. I haven't been moved by some thoughtless sentimental... that sentimentalism... Bleh, if that's what you're thinking. Oh, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Wherever Master goes, I go. And if the Mastermind turns out to be a guy, maybe I could catch on fire. Everyone. Okay. Well, now can you say that Sokra's death had no meaning? How boring. But nothing good can come of this. I'm still going to be the one having the fun time. The, heck? the fun time? Hmm. Anyway, let's forget about that good-for-nothing backstabber and get back on track. In the moment you've all been waiting for, punishment time. What? Wait, but Sakura technically killed the killer, right? And she's dead. You're not gonna. What? Is it me? Wrong. Oh heavens, no! Just because the Blacken is dead doesn't mean I can just sub in one, who, whatever old student I want. Did I tell you I'm very particular about the Bears Time One rule? But I spent so much time preparing my special punishment. It'd be ashamed to let it go to waste. So for my special punishment, I preferred a special guest. A special guest? No. Bye bye, Alter yeah. Ego. Say on that Excavator Destroyer. Man, that is a lot of pieces. This was built for Sakura? No. He knew from the beginning that Sakura killed herself, so... Well, yeah, but I would assume that he'd already had all these set up before any of this started. No. You! Oh, no. You suck, man! You turned him into a mangled hunk of junk! Oh, that really took it out of me. Maybe I'll go grow up a plate of chicken. After all, they say for post-workout grub, chicken's worth that. And I'm all about the grilled goodness. Fried? Boiled? Give me a break. The color, the smell, the succulents. It's grilled is where it's at. No. 
I realize how dangerous it could be, but still, I have to do this. I'm scared, but I can handle it. I don't really understand why, but when I think about everyone else, my hurt starts to grow. You might think I'm just some human AI, but it's true, so it's okay. If it's for the sake of everyone else, I won't be afraid. Alter Ego's words raced through my heart and soul. My disbelief gave way to raw anger. The anger turned to fury, black and muddy and boiling over. It bubbled through my body, quickly overflowing and shooting out of my mouth. How dare you! That was my friend! How dare you kill him! What's the matter? Hmm? You were friends with a laptop? That's pretty pathetic. What's next? Friends with a basketball? Shut the hell up. He wasn't a, just a laptop, he was my friend. And you killed him! Is that what you call in animism? Where soul dwells within all things, even like laptops? Well, you can call it whatever you want. Bottom line is, it got in my way. It was trying to find things out all, out all sneaky sneaky. As I thought. So, you finally noticed him. Actually. Finally? No, 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 I knew about it from the very beginning. I knew Chihiro was doing something with the laptop. I knew you were using it to analyze data. I knew exactly how it was all going to play out from the start. What? What are you thinking? You knew and you were still cocky enough to let us take the plunge? Yep. Well, I mean, the data on that laptop, it was, I guess you could call it a gift from me to you. Or maybe more like a reward in honor of you being able to unlock something so difficult. Hey, um... So, of course, I didn't care if you got access to that. But sneaking into the network was just too personal, so I had to do a little, you know, ref reformatting. Alter Ego wanted to fight for us. He wanted to help and at the risk of his own life. And for that, he was killed. Yeah, the punishment this time made me feel a billion times better. Experiencing a meaningless death is so soothing. It makes me remember that even low can get... That every low can get even lower. No, his death wasn't meaningless either. Everybody who's died so far, the deaths of each and every one of our friends. They all made us stronger. I swear to God, someday you will pay for this. Holy moly, you're super mad, like, uh, just unreasonably upset. Well, time to bring things to a close. Oh, but before that, I need to read the postscript. Postscript? Yep. Yeah, there's still a bit more of Left of Soccer's note. <laughs> Do I have to get your attention? Okay, then here we go. Prepare your ears for the dulcet, dulcet, dulcet tones of yours truly. One other thing, Hina. There's something I'd like to, you to tell the others. Hopefully it will act as a clue to help you unravel the mystery of this school. What? A clue? Hina. I've spoken with the Mastermind off and on the whole time I've been here, so I've learned one thing. Which is, the Mastermind has done something to us. I think what they've done is... Oopsie daisy, that was a close one. Another word and we would have been deep, hip deep in spoiler territory. Oh well, uh, okay, I don't want to ruin the surprise, so book club is dismissed for today. Well, you can't just stop them with support and bit. It makes your brain rumble and tumble, huh? It makes you so mad you don't even freaking know, huh? That's the whole point, stupid! It's to get back at all of you for hardening your resolve! Fine, but at least... Sakura's no. Hmm. Okay, whatever what any of you greaseballs have it. But... Too bad! <laughs> Sucks for you, loser! Wait, what's this? What is it now? There's one last line in the note. And he let me just and let me just say this to the mastermind. I'm not gonna wait just lay down and die. I will fight you, you bastard. No matter what, and that's seriously it. Hmm? Hmm? Wow, what a stubborn loser, huh? She won't lay down and die, she'll fight you? Hmm. Well whatever, who cares about some dead muscle head and has to say? Okay, I'm out of here. Hmm. You guys should just try to get some rest, you know? And maybe say, take some time to reconsider how you approach this school life of yours. Are you sure you don't want to graduate? Can you really cut free from the regrets of the outside world? <laughs> think about it. Think long. Think hard. Think big. Those were his parting words to us before disappearing. And what was that all about? Soccer's final message, her last clue to help us solve the mystery of the school? The mastermind did something to us? Kyoko said something like that before, didn't she? It was after Celeste's trial was over. The Mastermind did something to our bodies. What are they saying the Mastermind did? What did the Mastermind do to us? I mean, did the Mastermind plant a bomb in us or something? 
And if we try to leave the school, a sensor goes off? And the bomb explodes? You've seen stuff like that in movies and comics and stuff, so it's not totally unheard of, but... No, I just feel awful thinking about it. I can't afford to acknowledge thoughts like that. Yo. So the class trial's over and Monokuma's right. gone. So... What, now what do we do? What else is there to do other than to head back up? Um, oh yeah, okay, let's get out of here. But, but... I, um... You must still feel responsible. Hmm. Dial back that ego a bit, girl. The kind of mystery... <laughs> Sorry, but I can't just not laugh at that. The kind of mystery someone like you could pose is absolutely no threat. Possible. I would never have lost to that kind of challenge. Mm. What are you talking about? Kyoko and Makoto are the ones who have figured everything out. Stop talking. Shut up. Seriously, I'm sorry. Hm. How many times do you plan to apologize? How about that you make that the last one? I haven't reached a point where I need someone apologizing to me more than once. Okay, I see what you mean. The voice line said sorry. Bitch. Then... I'll try. Huh? That totally wasn't normal, right? Did you just capture his flag? No, 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 no! I cannot suffer the existence of someone who would disturb the romance between me and Master. Huh? What are you talking about? There's absolutely not what's happening here. Why would I ever go for a sleaze ball like him? What did you say? Sleaze ball? What the heck? That's right. I called you a sleaze ball cuz you're a sleaze ball. Apparently you still have a death wish. Ah. Oh, more biting sarcasm. No wonder you don't have any friends. No, 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 no. Hey, stop fighting with Master. You're making me jealous. I want the abusive give and take. Me. I guess it's not so easy for everyone to act like friends. Well, that's just how it is for now. And so Sakura's class trial came to an end, and we returned to the world of Hope Speak Academy. But the story wasn't ever even close to over. Time kept marching on. We all went back to our rooms, and before long, night snuck up on us and stabbed us all in the back at the end. <laughs> Dong, bing, bong. school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Night time descended and pulled me along down along with it, down into sleep. I couldn't remember the last time I'd fallen into such deep sleep, but the night still wasn't over for me. A voice. I could hear a voice. Wow. Uh, what's the one you say? You got that wrong? No, that's wrong. No, the, the line that you say. Oh, Soto Wachigayo? Yeah, so that's the waffle that. Yeah, so the one. Sorry, what? Uh, wake up. Huh? The voice dragged me from sleep and deep slumber into a hazy half consciousness. My eyelids were like lead. Oh, hey, Kyoko. Kyoko? What's up? Yes, it's me. How the fuck did you get in here? Huh? Kyoko? I said yes. So Kyoko's here. Wait, what? Nani? In a flash, I was wide awake. So apparently we're in the midnight hour because we finally have a green border and everything in the middle of the night. What are you doing here? I'm here to wake you up. Oh, I see. Wait, but my door! It was unlocked. You're unbelievably careless. It was unlocked? Are you serious? Always, and you don't have to overreact like that every time you're surprised. What time is it? Three o'clock in the morning, of course. 
that time window should just change to 3 a.m. It's 3 a.m.? Why was Kyoko waking me up at this hour? Should that be it here? Um, or do you want to keep going until the end of the chapter? We can keep going to the end of the chapter, yeah. Okay. So late, what happened? I have a favor I need to ask. Favor? What's your favor? So, remember what Salt Crow said at the end of her note? I'm not going to just lay down and die, I will fight you. I want to find out what she meant by that. Okay, but how do you plan to do that? Then Kyoko put her lips next to my ear and whispered, Hey little mama, um, shit, tell you something that you might like to hear. Hey little mama, let me whisper in your ear. I'll tell you something, yeah, fuck sake, I fucked it up. The you forgot the part that was related to this. Yeah. The data center on the fourth floor. Goodbye. What? I'll meet you there. Without another word, she was gone. What the? The master might not think we fucked him with all these ten. late night rendezvous. The data center? But I thought it was locked. But I got it was locked. Shut up, Nagi Coon. Oh, so it says midnight now? That's still incorrect. I made my way to the after hour school and headed for the data center on the fourth floor. Well, I think it means it's, like, midway through the night. Yeah, I, I get that, but it's still not accurate. Eventually, I wound up at the data center. When I arrived, Kyoko's not here. It's weird. She said she'd meet me. Did she? Is she maybe inside already? She did, yes. I put my hand to the door and with a certain amount of force. Rattle, rattle. Rattle, rattle, rattle. Rattle, it rattle, It doesn't rattle. have... It didn't open. I tried again, but rattle, rattle, rattle. It must be locked. What was it Kyoko said? It is under the fourth floor. Oh ho, what are you doing up, mister? Yeah. Breaking into a locked room is incredibly prohibited, don't you know? Oh, well, I just... You're trying to tell me you didn't actually bust in yet, right? But I can see that you don't... Don't waste my time telling me crap I can see for myself. You looked you guys break breaking any second, so I just thought I'd give you a friendly reminder. Or are you going to try and tell me you were sleepwalking or something? No, nothing like that. It's three o'clock in the morning for crying out loud. Even I get tired, you know? Stop being weird and go back to bed. That's you? What's wrong now? Just yeah, a is. second. Why are you out here making a racket? Kyoko? <laughs> you too? You guys? Whatever the two of you just get back to bed, I'm possibly exhausted from this class trial. That's true. Sure, you got it. Come on, Makoto, let's head back. What? Hey. Didn't you hear me? We're leaving. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Shall we go? Don't worry about it. Let's just go. Okay. <gasps> yeah, yeah. Go on. Get out of here. Shoo, shoo. So we left and went back to our rooms. And then... So, goodbye. Hold on. Listen, what was it all about just now? She woke me up, made me go to the data center, which just so happened to be locked. And then she shows up late and we leave without checking a single thing. What was the point of all that? <sighs> Don't worry about it. I figure that would be the end of our conversation, just like always, Bye. but... Well then, good night. Good midnight. Sure. And then that was over. But as I turned to leave... Hey, little mama, let me whisper in your ear. Girl, you do that. Kyoko's right next to me once again, whispering into my ear. Ikusaba, the sixteenth student, lying hidden somewhere in this school, the one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. I hope you like those four lines, Gabe, because you're gonna hear them so much throughout the rest of the game. Okay. It's a meme, end. literally. That line. Well, those lines. Huh, interesting. To be continued. Next time, let's play Dangan Robot. Boom. 
Alter Lump. I'm disgusted. I'm revolted. I dedicate myself to our Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and this is the thanks I get? I am disgusted by this. All the other things that you've been getting as presents, okay. This one is literally the dead remains of my friend. That's fucked. Think of it like an urn. Just put them in a neat little box. No, that's hands. like you literally grinding someone up and putting them in a box. It is not ashes. I know. It's fine. I am disgusted. I am revolted. I did. I my have lord done. To our, my lord, I dedicate my life to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And this is. The I'm thing so fucking done with this game, guys. <sighs> next time, unless we don't. We have Rumpa. almost two hundred coins, bruh. Uh. Yep. Which means I get to buy between episodes. Buy, 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 sell, sell, sell. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, bye. <laughs> Rolling with me. <laughs> All right, guys. See you guys next time. Bye.